I've seen, obviously, you've lost quite a lot of players in the Curry Cup parade. There's about eight of your Super Rugby guards, yeah. maybe even more. How do you, you guys are no strangers to adversity, but how do you sort of keep overcoming this and you're going to have to do it again? Yeah, luckily I've been there before, so uh, I have to go back to my old books and, and and start to see how we've done it before. But yeah, it's going to be it's going to be it's a it's a it's going to be tough um, losing all those players and, and building a new core. Um, but we're in a we're in a good space now in terms of the players that we've identified and and, and getting the group together. Um, we're going to have limited time, about two and a half weeks before the competition start. Playing against the champion is a big ask, um, but. Um, Looking forward in terms of how, how we can can grow as a team and grow as a franchise and and <clears throat> and um, make it a special sorry make it a special team going forward. Um, that that's the exciting part. Um, seeing the big picture, um, we we acknowledge it's going to be tough at the start uh, and doing it, but um, I feel eventually we will get there and, and, and be able to, to feature a good good side going forward. Dion, how tough is it for you now to, you know, go into this and suddenly now I think the competitive uh, is it really no, no, it's very tough. I mean, um, and Stephen, you'll know that um, rugby is built on continuity, it's built on combinations and uh, it takes a year to where everyone actually gets to understand each other and to, to develop combinations and develop uh, a men's brotherhood and, and really start building momentum. So uh, we've, we've lost that now. So that whole process must start all over again. Um, so, uh, yeah, but as I said, um, we, we're in it now, we're there now, and we, and we just have to focus on, on getting a, a recipe to, 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 to keep it as simple as possible, to develop a, a good unity uh, 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 as, as soon as possible, um, to create a, a good culture as soon as possible, uh, Letting everyone working in the same direction, um, and, and I think um, uh, with, the, with the type of players that we get in, I mean, some of the, those players have played in other competitions now. Some of them uh, um, have played at this level. So um, obviously, if we if we um, accurate in terms of what we want to achieve and how we're going to do it, um, we, we we might move very quickly in, in, into that direction. Yeah, you, sustainable going into this competition does this have commercial benefits where it's going to allow you to contract players for more than a season yeah when I've when I've looked at the contracting now obviously you wanna you want to contract players for two years uh, to to have something to build on for next year um, it's not so easy in, in, in all the positions and in the, uh, with, with competitions different competition happening at the same time so you gotta you gotta really find that balance um, at the end also, I mean, it becomes important that going into the future is that you have to build a good sustainable base um, with an academy structure and elite systems where we, which feed into, 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 your, into your professional team. Um, the process currently is, is not the best way, uh, the best way to, to do it. Uh, so um, I think that, that needs to become a very, a very uh, strong focus point going forward. So that you can have this uh, continu continuity and players flooding in from one from one competition into a, another, uh, where, where players leave and and, and go, go play a different franchise as well, other competitions. Coach, uh, uh, what assurances has SA Rugby given you in terms of players, and are you at liberty to discuss any potential signings, or who have you signed up? Now we work on um, next week to, to to make that announcement in terms of where we are. Um, I've had a lot of support now in terms of, of um, looking at, at different franchises um, to get players in. Um, understanding that um, a lot of quality players is contractually also um, um, liable to, 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 um, to the unions and, and playing in those competitions, especially in the Curry Cup. Um, so we, we try to find a balance um, between getting good players here but also not disrupting them as much as possible but I think it's important now I think of going forward that if everyone understands um, the importance of, of growing the game in South Africa and, and, and making a mark internationally that um, whatever decisions we make and whatever we do it, it needs to feed into ensuring that um, the teams that played in the different competition that, that they are able to compete and, 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 and give enough exposure to the best players and, and, and to the players with ability going into that competition. And, and that is what I, I would like to try to get right. Dion, are you locked in for the next foreseeable future? Um, 
but you're going to be with this team, so you want to build a team of two years, so you can do it, is that still going to be decided? Yeah, that is, the, that is the, the, the agreement at this point in time, that I will, I will, I will do that um, for the next three years going forward. Um, so, yeah. Part of the challenge would be, as I said, is to ensure that um, hopefully we can get some of those structures going to ensure that we build some more sustainability in that area. And do you think um, the crowd will you'll see good crowds in PE? Do you think this tournament will capture the imagination? Well, it's a lovely, lovely time of the year to come to Port Elizabeth over the over the summer holidays and stuff. Um, hopefully, having to do something differently and and then. Uh, <coughs> Having both coming to watch some good rugby and also enjoying the beach and the and and the environment and the the area around Port Elizabeth, we will we will attract some more crowds. I mean, but it's going to be also depending on on how we how we play, and what we bring to the to the field. I think um, we've learned that lesson over the year. Um, from 2016, I mean, 2016 was really tough um, in terms of, of not being able to prepare um, and um, having to to build a squad like this. Um, We've seen in 2017 being able to, to have a proper season and, and build a good squad that, that we've achieved a lot in, in, in a small space of time. Um, I mean, we've, we've actually back in, in that same boat, maybe a bit diffi more difficult than 2016 because we've got two weeks to go and we won't maybe not be even be able to play a friendly. But as I said, um, there's, some, there's some good learning that, we could have taken, that we've taken out of our 2016 and 2017 experience and we will try to apply that to ensure that we, we're competitive coming. You, as you mentioned, there's not much time to go. Do you have <coughs> kind of a, a rough idea what your, your best 15 or your best 22 will, will look like for the games and, and how difficult is it to prepare without perhaps knowing your, the entire squad that you have available? Now, obviously, when we started the contacting, we looked at um, the players that, have not le that did not leave the union, how we can build around them. Also, um, players currently on form that played at uh, at um, in the su um, super sport or curry cup level of being of have played before in international on inter at an international stage how uh, we can uh, we can build a mix around that um, obviously we also got a responsibility to bring one or two upcoming youngsters through through the system and give them that experience so that you can build on for the future so so we've looked at all of that variables and um, yeah if I, if I look at one two to 23 at this stage um, I think we would we would be able to put to put some good names on, on a piece of paper. How many players have you got left from the actual squad? That played in the got a bit between 12 and 15 players left. If I take one per position in uh, um, that that played in 2017. Um, yeah, but obviously also we've lost uh, we've lost some some quality players to to the different franchises. Is that from the 30 men squad, 35 men squad, or is that from the 23 men squad? From the yeah, from the 23-man squad that we had, I mean, Koi Banda, um, that have played a lot of rugby at 15, is there. Valuntlu and Klaas and all of those players are, are still there, Van um, Yeah, so there's Natila, all, all of those, there's a couple of players that is, that is still back, that will still be part your of the... Right? Sorry, your coaching staff? Um, we've lost Lezuko Valuntlu um, to, to Germany. Um, um, and, yeah, and... Uh, the f our physiotherapist Kim Naidu, she's um, she's getting married and uh, she's part of the SE schools now, but she's returning to Cape Town um, in December. So obviously we will have to look at, 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 at filling those those positions and and I'll be busy doing that uh, to to ensure that our support staff and, and everyone is on board. So a little bit of restructuring in terms of our of our, of our staff and our players. It's 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 a uh, uh, it's not an easy task, but it's some it's the the cards that have been given to us now and I think it's it's, it's just a situation now of, of seeing the big picture and, and try to be and, and, and getting positive and excited about about building something uh, going forward.